My name is Karen Hallam, and I'm a junior here at the School of Information. Um, and I'm seeking internships in user experience research and design. Now, I want to ask you a question. How many of you have hitchhiked before? I, I like it. Um, now, the first time that I hitchhiked was in August 2016, when a friend of mine and I decided to hitchhike through uh, the Netherlands and Germany. Um, now, something that I, that I found out from this experience was that hitchhiking, in many ways, is like being part of a product development team. How, you might ask? Very fair question. Well, imagine this scenario. When you're hitchhiking, you're trying to convince customers, or in this case, drivers, that your product, in this case, my friend and me, are somehow worth buying. This is an especially daunting prospect considering that hitchhikers don't pay gas money, have no value proposition, and use scruffy signs like this. <laughs> so to sell our product, we had to ask ourselves deeper questions. We had to answer questions for ourselves to inform our strategy. We asked questions like, how far are we from an international border? How do you say hitchhike in the context that we're in? And most importantly, who actually picks up hitchhikers? Some of the really interesting things that we found out is that, one, if you're near the Dutch-German border, you're very likely to be picked up by a Dutch businessman traveling alone. If you are in Germany, it's not hitchhike, it's auto stop. And lastly, and this is my personal favorite, if you're in East Germany, you're very likely to be picked up by someone who used to hitchhike during the communist era because there was no better way of getting around. All of this is to say that to sell a product, you need to understand people, cultures, and histories. And this is what I am passionate about. I am passionate about understanding the confluence between anthropology and technology. Specifically, I want to look at how people cultures and history inform the ways we make new technologies. Now, during my time at the School of Information, I have honed my technical skills to, be, to better understand this confluence. And in fact, last semester, I was in a project where we were trying to address the issue of driver distraction, um, essentially when drivers are distracted by their mobile phones. And uh, I was in charge of user research and user interviews for this project. Um, and I thought I'd look beyond just drivers in Michigan. I thought I'd look to my two home cities of New Delhi and Dubai. And what I found was that this prototype that I had made had little bearing on the lives of Dubai drivers, and it was completely useless in New Delhi. Now, this was, this was a sad moment for the project, but it only piqued my interest in anthropology and technology even further. And this semester, I'm taking this to the maximum where I am, my project team and I are actually trying, are partnering with the Ferndale City Clerk in Michigan to improve accessibility to public records in the city. And now what I love about this project and what I think is the challenge, it's not making the technical solution that will be the hardest part. It will be putting faith back in government. And that is something that we have to answer by understanding culture and history. So if you're a technology firm looking to expand to a global user base, or you want to understand your current users better, I would love to talk to you after this. Or if you want to hear more about hitchhiking, I would love to talk too. Thank you, Karen.